all you need to make your own high quality photographs at home is one of these, a pinhole camera. They're really simple to make. You can find instructions here on how to do it yourself. You'll also need some photographic paper, which you can get in a photography shop or online. And finally, we've come up with a really nifty DIY solution for developing your photographs at home using simple household ingredients, like the ones you can see here. So now you know what you need, let's start taking some photographs. Before taking your camera out, load the photographic paper in a completely dark room. Place it in, glossy side up, and seal the pinhole camera. Make sure the shutter is closed. You'll get the best pictures on a sunny day. The amount of light will determine how long you'll need to open the shutter for. So, for example, on a bright day, I'd recommend about 30 seconds. Whilst you're taking the photo, both the camera and the subject will have to remain very, very still. Although you can buy the chemicals to develop your photographs at home, it's way more fun and cheaper to make your own solution. So today I'm going to be using mint. You can also use uh, coffee or basil, and this is because they contain something called caffic acid. Caffic acid is a reductant. This means it's going to convert the silver ions in my photographic paper to silver, which then gives me a negative image. Make a strong mint tea by stirring 10 grams of dried mint leaves into 200 milliliters of hot water. Leave to brew for 15 minutes. Then strain the solution through a coffee filter into a new container. Set aside. Dissolve two 1000 milligram vitamin C tablets in 200 milliliters of water. Then add 10 grams of bicarbonate of soda and stir to help break down the bubbles. Mix the two solutions together and rest for 10 minutes so that all the bubbles will settle. Next, you'll need a stopper solution. This is going to halt the chemical reaction that we started in our developing process. This is a simple acid-based chemical reaction where we're going to use acid to neutralize the alkali chemicals that we had at the start. For this, I'm going to use five milliliters of lemon juice mixed with 200 milliliters of water in a container. Once you've made your two solutions, we're now ready to develop our photographic paper. Now, this next part needs to be done in complete darkness, but you can use a red light to help you see, such as from a red light bulb or from a red bike light. This is because photographic paper is insensitive to these types of light. Take the paper out of the camera and dip it in the developer bath. After two minutes, check it, and if it doesn't look ready, leave it for another two minutes. Using kitchen tongs, take the photo out of the developer solution and place it in the stopper solution for 30 seconds. Finally, take the photo out and turn on the light. You now have your own photo negative. So there you have it, your very own pinhole masterpiece. This one's mine. And um, while I think it's beautiful the way it is, it's actually a negative right now. So if you'd like to make a positive version of it, you can take a photograph of it on your phone and reverse the image using settings. Or you can also scan it and do the same thing on your computer. Um, for all the instructions about how to make a pinhole camera and to develop your film, you can find them here. And there's also additional information. Go make some wonderful pinhole masterpieces.